<laughs> you freaking did it. You did it. You got it done. You made the fan base happy. And holy crap, did you just pick at 83, Nakobe Dean, the linebacker from Georgia? Holy crap. I mean, I got to say, this was most surprising. When that 83rd pick came, I was like, I didn't know what they were going to do. And they were going to Nick Cross. They're, I didn't know what they were going to do. And any other player that was supposed to be drafted later would have been a reach. So the Eagles drafted an offensive lineman in the second round. And obviously that pick was supposed to be either Nicobe Dean or obviously Jurgens, But, you know, they want to go with how they draft. And they go trenches first before anything on that side of the ball. You got a relentless dog in the Kobe Dean between his coverage. I think he's the best blitzing linebacker. I think he. I think the number one best blitzing linebacker. His football IQ is off the charts. Um, his coverage is great. He could jump routes. He could get. I mean, he is a physical tackler. He is going to disrupt like there's nothing. I I, I can't even believe they did this. Now, how we draft him in the third round is because of his pectoral injury that apparently teams were passing on him because of it. Now, hearing that he doesn't need surgery at all, it could heal the way it is right now, teams still passed on him. Now, he's not going to get surgery because, like I said, it doesn't require surgery. So just in case down the line, if he wants to get surgery, you know, it could screw up this season, next season. You can lose this guy for two seasons because of getting surgery or making his mind up later on saying, hey, I'm just going to get the surgery, and then he's out two seasons. But it's not going to happen. It looks like Howie Roseman got off the phone with um, the Kobe Dean, and it was he was quiet for like four – Howie Roseman was quiet for like 40 seconds saying, that you can't hold this kid back. This kid wants to punish teams that passed on him. Not only that, but going to be playing with his other Georgia teammate, Jordan Davis, that will take on those double teams. And the Kobe Dean will just, I guess, especially against the run and against the pass. The Kobe Dean, like I said, is a relentless monster, an alpha dog. He is going. I, I see this guy playing here for for over ten years. I, just, I I see this guy playing his whole career in Philadelphia. The, this is not a this isn't a guy coming off an ACL, a uh, torn Achilles, like none of that. I mean, this is just a pectoral injury, and teams passed on him because of it. But then Howie Roseman says that he's going to actually be at rookie uh, minicamp, which is kind of weird. Like, why is he going to rookie minicamp if like all these teams passed on him? So there's some weird stuff going around with this. Maybe his name was slandered so bad with this injury that maybe there was a lot of lies thrown around with the rumors of this injury, this pectoral injury of everyone was making it seem like it was that bad, but maybe it's really not as bad as we thought it was going to be. And Harry Rosen said, Oh yeah, he's going to be at rookie minicamp. He'll be ready by then. I'm like, so is he going to miss more time? I mean, you still have a good amount of months before the season starts. So this guy could play this year. So I don't know. You have Kaiser White. That's his last, you know, on a one-year deal. Okay. You have TJ Edwards on a one-year deal this year. So I think he's a free agent after this year. So potentially you lose two linebackers. Davion Taylor's always hurt all the time, you know, last preseason and through the middle of the season, which I really like Davion Taylor a lot. But now you add Nakobe Dean, a generational talent. This guy has a voice when he wants to use it. This guy leads by example. This guy could definitely, he was the captain for Georgia. He got these guys prepared every single game, okay? I've watched a lot of tape on the Kobe Dean, okay? And the one thing I can say, and look, I well, as soon as we signed Kaiser White, I literally ignored the Kobe Dean, Devin Lloyd. I said, ah, there's no way we're getting him. But we got him in the third round at a cheap price, a top 17 player, Buckus Award winner. I mean, holy crap, guys. This, this is huge. This was surprising. I thought Nick Cross. I didn't know what was going to happen, really, because 51 was a really bad pick. And then going to 83, we had to wait a lot longer to see if they were actually going to get some type of weapon on defense that we need for this year, okay, or, you know, the year after. Look, like I said, if the Eagles want to rest him, they could do whatever the hell they want. The Eagles are not competing this year. The Eagles are not trying to make, win a Super Bowl this year. This is a rebuilding year. How Howie Roseman, quote-unquote, said this is a long-term draft, okay? 
They took a chance off guys with injuries. They took a chance on the Kobe Dean. They could have took a chance on him in the second round from what Harry Roseman said, but they went with their instinct on getting offensive line and working from the trenches and then working out of the trenches, which went to the second level at linebacker. Okay. Like I said, Jordan Davis and the Kobe Dean reunite. You got a generational talent here. That could be something special. And this kid, this is not like some good player you get out of the draft and that's it. This guy has some inner... Just some inner dog, just relentlessness towards him, and I love it. and And I feel like th this this speaks that he's gonna be. I'm not saying a Hall of Famer, but you know he could be. But you never know. I mean, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself, but I, I feel something really good about Nakobe Dean. I really do. He just his attitude and just eats, breathes football every single day, and knows how to get these guys prepared. Leads by example. I am. Beyond just overly overwhelmed. This is an A plus pick. It is. As much as Eagles fans are going to say, well, he's not an A plus pick because he's not going to play this year. You never know what's going to happen, guys, because if he, he doesn't require surgery right now, if he doesn't require surgery for this pectoral. And Howie Roseman's going to have him at rookie minicamp. Oh, yeah, he'll be at rookie, he'll be ready for rookie minicamp. I'm like, well, what's going on? Because we felt like this thing was so bad. He was dropping down the board so bad at this point. I mean, the Eagles had to get him. I mean, they had to get him. I didn't think it was going to happen, but holy crap, it happened. Um, and that that's pretty much it, guys. I am I'm so excited. Like the Eagles got a first round linebacker in the third round not off an ACL I can't believe they got this guy just off a of pectoral I mean you got to be excited for it you have to be excited for it this man could be here for years um he could be a next Eagles great for all we know I mean this is how much of a big deal this is so oh that guys let me know in the comments what you guys thought about Nakobe Dean becoming a Philadelphia Eagle and just about his pectoral and like how why is Howie saying he's getting ready for minicamp? There maybe there's some rumors that made it seem like it was really that bad, but maybe this injury isn't as bad as we thought it was going to be. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Shakes what up, false slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.